So, lately you're having a hard time removing the files or softwares from your Windows device? Maybe you're getting this prompt or maybe this prompt. But don't you worry, I'll show you how to get all through those stuff after the intro hits. Let's go! Very earthy being. What is up people of Earth? Welcome to the most earthly channel here on YouTube. You are watching Very Earthly Being. Today, I am going to show you on how to delete undeletable or uninstallable files. Does that make sense? No! In your Windows computer, no matter what version of Windows you have, either Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, or even that window right there. <laughs> Damn fam. You got the whole chat laughing. But jokes aside, if you're getting a lot of this prompt right here, or maybe like this one right here, this is going to be easily fixed in this video. So stick around, I am going to show you how to do it. And you know what's up next, let's hop onto our desktop right now. So currently I am using my Windows 10 laptop, it's a pretty low end to be honest, but it can do a lot of stuff. But of course, I am one of the victims of having a file or a software not being able to be removed and not being able to be removed in my device so I searched a lot of videos and stuff around the internet and I found this one trick you just need one software and that is iobit uninstaller so how to install that application nope it's not in microsoft store or anything you can download it through your browsers and if you're a fan of this channel of course the first thing i'm going to say is open your preferred browser as soon as possible <laughs> now no matter what browser that is either google chrome mozilla firefox opera microsoft edge or even internet explorer like who uses internet explorer in 2021 Anyways, I'm going to use Google Chrome for this tutorial, so I'm gonna open it up right now. Now that the browser is fully up in your screens right now, I want you to type in on your search bar, iobit uninstaller. So just follow the words that I'm typing in, iobit uninstallers. The full word will come up, so just type in enter. So as you can see, the best result out there is this first link right here. So just click on this link. It wouldn't harm your PC for sure, so don't worry. I have a low-end laptop, so it can work also in high-end if you really need to remove something from your device. Alright, so now just click on free download. And now some pop-up will show in this part of the screen if you are using Google Chrome, but somewhere in your browser, there will show up a little prompt of the download. So now that my download is already done, we are going to click it right away. So now user account control will pop up something in the screen. There will be two choices, yes or no. Just pick yes because that's what we are going to install right now and just wait a couple of seconds until this box show up let's just minimize our google chrome welcome to iobit uninstaller i'll just install it if you want to try out these programs right here recommended by iobit themselves you can press yes i agree to install the above programs and accept but for me i just want to uninstall a product and I don't want any other programs to run so just pick on no thank you if you don't want it to be downloaded in your device and just click next so now it's gonna install for a little while so you just gotta wait and stay hydrated you know what I'm saying so now two icons have just showed up in my screen one as a shortcut in my desktop and one here at the taskbar right below here 3,000 whoop who's later. Okay, so now that the installing is done, let's just click on no thanks. And installation is completed. I O. Ho! Oh. Sorry. I O bit uninstaller has been installed successfully. Please click finish to run it. So now just click on finish. 
and it will run iobit uninstaller right now so as you can see it will show up everything you've installed in your c drive to be exact but if you have installed something on your hard drive but still installed it within the c drive it will still come up in here but i have no complaints having programs in here so yeah it's all in here so don't worry it's not a virus or something harmful to your pc so you can rely on it by deleting or removing some undeletable stuff in your devices all right now to test out that iobit uninstaller right here i'm gonna show you the way it's done all right so maybe you messed up your device because you've downloaded something harmful not like iobit uninstaller that will uninstall that harmful program Boy! so now let's say i have this program right here opened up but i can't close it that x button right there is not working and maybe your laptop or your desktop is not responding at the moment because of you doing something wrong downloading some untrusted programs or files in your pc what are you doing what are you doing what you want to do is just press and hold control shift and escape at the same time so just press control shift escape oh now all the running things in your device will pop up and damn it's bright My eyes! anyways if that keyboard shortcut didn't help you in opening your task manager go and right click your task bar and as you can see task manager is right there i am doing this currently on a windows 10 so if there's some changes in other versions as well as the windows xp and windows vista those are pretty old operating systems you better check it out too now that again i'm in my task manager let me just full screen this stuff and now the program i am running right now which is an example that the program is not responding or it can't close that specific panel or that file you just want to make sure you are in processes okay it's either you're in processes or details because it will work the same thing all right so you just want to click on that and end task but if you're in processes don't worry just click on that also and task no questions asked it already closed that file right there so make sure to save your stuff before doing that because it will it will ruin your if we're talking about serious stuff here you could ruin your life as well <laughs> now just close this task manager right here and just refresh your desktop just to be sure and now i want to uninstall adobe media encoder right here so let's just uninstall this one uninstall adobe media encoder through the control panel so uninstall or change so i'm just gonna pick yes for the user account control so i'm just gonna remove all of that stuff yeah boy and now uninstall is complete close that up and just refresh your control panel so now what i've downloaded with the media encoder but maybe you have other programs that are undeletable as of now maybe we have the same problems all right so now as you can see right here this is a bundleware so this adobe creative cloud has the bundleware bundleware also called bundled software means that some programs being installed together with a specific software generally what you installed is one program but after the installation you can see some other programs also installed on your computer which media encoder is included but i don't want one of them in my desktop right now or in my device right now so i just wanna delete it uninstall or change yes yeah boy <laughs> And as you can see, nothing is happening. So let me just go in Windows 10 settings right now. So let's click on this Adobe Creative Cloud and just uninstall. Uninstall again and click on yes. And let's wait a couple of seconds. Yeah, boy. 
and it doesn't prompt anything in your device. So I don't care if it's connected to other programs such as Adobe Premiere Pro right there, but still, I want it out of my device, alright? So what you wanna do, this is where my friend iobit uninstaller is going to enter the room, alright? So now let's just exit out of our settings which doesn't help us. Okay. And just go into your iobit uninstaller in your taskbar or if it's in your desktop right now, just double click on it. And we have here Adobe Creative Cloud, the one that I want to delete. Maybe you have other stuff to delete in your device which is a virus or something harmful or something b bad. <laughs> You just wanna let iobit uninstaller take over, alright? So now let's just check this box right here and uninstall. Are you sure to uninstall the selected program? Uninstall. But we have two boxes to tick right here. So we have one here that says create a restore point before uninstall and automatically remove residual files. So I didn't make a restore point before uninstall because this is just a little amount and a little space on my drive right now. But if you have something that's really big on your drive and you installed it on an untrusted website or something and that program just stuck and not responding and giving you virus, you can't just wear a mask to your PC. <laughs> You just need to just check this little box that says create a restore point before uninstall because some untrusted programs will uninstall other files with it. Let's say you've uninstalled Adobe Creative Cloud and you never know you could have your Premiere Pro or your Photoshop deleted accompanied by the Creative Cloud itself. What? Now you just wanna click on uninstall because not clean uninstall, let's just clean it manually later, alright? Now just uninstall it. So a little circle loading screen will now pop up. It has the progress of the uninstalling that is going on right now. So let's just wait. Patience is the key. Yeah, boy. Okay, so now that it's done, it's currently cleaning up the residual junk it has. So uninstalled one program and removed leftovers below. So let's just close this. We don't need to upgrade to Pro because, bro, did I just run? Ah. If you have iobit uninstaller, you're good to go. Now just click on close right now and just to clean your device up thoroughly, you just want to go to run, okay? Run. If you don't know what run is, you just gotta right click on that start menu icon right there and run, alright? So now let's go to percent temp percent all right now just okay click on control a delete and do this for all current items skip just wait a couple of seconds now refresh your file explorer right now it will depend on how many temporary files you have so you better do this part as soon as possible all right now just again right click on the start menu icon run and go to prefetch all right so if you haven't had prefetch on these bars yet you just want to type in prefetch prefetch like that so you just want to hit ok or hit enter and just continue don't worry now we have those adobe stuff we don't want them right there sitting on our device taking up some space right now so you just want to click on Control a again Control a and boom boom Ooh. Bam! Oh, bop! We delete those stuff again. So these are just some temporary files not being used by the computer right now. So don't worry, this will help your PCs to run maybe a little bit faster than usual, alright? Now just go to file again and close. Go to recycle bin and empty the recycle bin right now. And just like that, Now that concludes everything in this video. If you want me to do more tutorials like this, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, click that notification to get notified on our new updates and uploads to come. Earth number one, goodbye.